Let me guess. You've tried countless study schedules, downloaded every productivity app, and still feel overwhelmed with school. Here's what nobody tells you. The problem isn't your study habits. It's trying to plan your study time before planning your life. In this video, I'm going to show you the balanced approach that transforms my academic life, and I'm giving you the exact Notion template that you can use to make it happen. If you're tired of feeling constantly behind in school, stick around because this might be the game changer that you've been looking for. Why does this matter? Now, this might seem obvious because it's literally called a study schedule. So because it's called a study schedule, you put the studying first. But here's why most students get it wrong. They start by blocking out all their study time, then try to squeeze life into whatever gaps are left. And when life inevitably happens, their entire schedule falls apart. One unexpected event, one sudden obligation, and suddenly you're behind on everything. They put studying first and forget about all the other things that they love doing, and a few weeks later, they're bored and feel burnt out. So before I explain how it works, let me show you what we're working with. So this is a quick overview of what our template looks like. This is our homepage and in here you will have a bird's eye view of your master calendar, your courses and your assignments as well as your routine tracker. And under the life planner you have the master calendar. And right here, we have our very handy chore tracker. It's very easy to add new chores as well as recurring ones. And when it's done, it will just disappear from your list for the time being. You can also add your errands right here. And this is our goals section. I really love this one. So you can just move things along. It's divided into three sections. We have to do doing and done later i'm going to show you a really helpful tip on how notion can help you achieve your goals faster next is our recipes bank i really love this because it's simple and easy to use if you want to get started on meal planning this is perfect for you i'm going to show you later how you can customize this and how you can save recipes for future use Next is our brain dump. I highly suggest that you use this regularly, especially every time you feel overwhelmed because it's a really good way to articulate your thoughts and to just log your ideas so you can revisit them later. I also included a quick section where you can log your supplements and medications. Next is our habit tracker. This one is also my favorite because it automatically renews every day so you don't have to do things manually, making it easier for you to track your habits. So I'm going to teach you later how you can customize the buttons and how you can add new habits as well. And of course, we have our fitness planner. You can save your workouts here for future reference. And of course, the highlight of our planner, the academic section. So we have a quick notes page right here where you can jot down some text and even save your favorite links. And here we have the great tracker with automations. I'm going to teach you later how you can use this one. This is a really good tool if you want to monitor your class standing. It takes a bit of work because you have to be really familiar with your grading system, with your syllabus, but it's really worth it. We also have a course schedule right here where you can track your courses as well as your assignments. A planning ahead section is also included where you can add social events, shopping plans, travel plans, and even a quick budget planner. Of course, we're going to customize this later on. Let us start with our homepage. I made it cute and minimalist at the same time. You've probably noticed these cool icons that I used to customize this planner and of course, I am going to show you how you can create your own personalized icons later. You can check the timestamps on the description box if you prefer to do that first. So our homepage has a routine tracker that you can use to help you stay on track. It comes with a progress bar to further help you visualize. You can check the boxes and reset them every week. 
Next, you'll have an overview of your courses and assignments. These are all synced to their respective pages, so everything is being updated real-time. You can use the drop-down menu options for a less cluttered look. Next is a simple to-do list where you can move things along depending on your progress. And at the bottom is a weekly overview of your master calendar. Let me show you Notion's new feature, Notion Faces. Notion Faces lets you create your own customized avatar that you can use to design your planners, use as icons, and more. They are very easy and fun to create. There are a lot of cute and fun elements that you can use to create your own character. Just go to faces.notion.com to get started. Now let us save this cute character that we created. You can include a name and a caption if you want. You can choose a fun background color or save as transparent image. So to customize your planner, just click the three dots right here and go to replace. Choose upload file and wait for the image to finish uploading. I actually want to see the Notion faces that you come up with. You can tag me on Instagram if you downloaded this planner and I'd like to see how you customized it. So this is your master calendar and it has every important date, appointments, and reminders. It has three views, a calendar view, a list view, and a need to schedule view and I'm going to explain later how it works. You can also filter them depending on how much events you would like to see at a certain time because some people get overwhelmed when they see a lot of events coming up. So here I am showing you how easy it is to add an event on your calendar. The emojis are optional and if you want to add them, just click this button right here. If you want to be a little bit extra and more detailed, you can also add the location but of course you don't have to. And for the date, you can also include the time if the event is time sensitive. We also have another view right here, which is the need to schedule view. And all of the scheduled events will appear right here. If you clear the date when creating an event, it will be moved to this section. This is good for tentative events that you would like to be mindful for in advance. Next is our chore tracker. Let us give our chores a spotlight. There's no escaping them anyway, so might as well give them special attention. In this corner, there are buttons included to make adding chores easier. You can add a weekly or a daily chore. So once you press a button, look at the prompt below to open a new window. Your chore list will be divided into daily and weekly chores. Here I am adding a recurrent one. So once you add them, you can set a specific day for the recurring chore and once you're done, they will appear right here on the recurring chores section. Next is the goals page. This one is also my favorite. Your goals are divided into three sections. We have to do, doing, and done. You can easily move each goals depending on their status. Adding a new goal is very simple and I'm going to show you a little hack in a bit on how Notion can help you achieve your goals faster. By the way, you can also add categories in your goals to sort them if you want. Next, I will show you how Notion AI can help you achieve your goals faster. Let's use language learning as an example. Just open the sidebar so we can add more details. Right here, just press the spacebar to activate Notion AI. You can actually ask it to do lots of stuff, but for now, let's ask it to create a study plan for this goal. Be specific as much as you can, especially with the time frame that you are willing to commit to. And that's it! Notion AI will recommend a study plan for you to follow through. I love that it's a realistic plan with a monthly breakdown so you can actually track your progress. It even created a checklist for your weekly milestones. You can also use it for your other goals as well, and for this one, I asked Notion AI to give me resources on how I can achieve this goal. This is one of my favorites as well, the recipes bank. I don't know if it's just adulting, but I've been wanting to keep a log of all the healthy and easy recipes that I can make. So I usually start by adding a new meal. 
and then I go over the groceries list and add the ingredients. As you can see, I can link the ingredients to the meal that I created earlier, the single serve hot pot. If we go back to the meal page, you'll see that the ingredients are already added here. You can also add categories to your meals. Here I am just adding more info like the specific portion of ingredients as well as the instructions. I really love this recipe that I found on TikTok so I included it here. And there you have it. Now you have all your recipes in one place. I suggest that you keep a record of both healthy and easy to prepare meals because being a busy student can sometimes lead to poor eating habits. Next is the brain dump. This is the place where you can document your life, your daily happenings, special occasions, and reflections on your goals. I highly recommend to use this feature whenever you feel overwhelmed with your thoughts. You can also use this if you always come up with ideas but you don't have the time to execute them yet. This way you can always revisit them later. Next is our habit tracker. A good rule of thumb is to make it a point to avoid skipping habits two days in a row. I recommend to start with a few habits and four is usually the sweet spot for me. This way we avoid getting overwhelmed when we start with a lot of habits. This habit tracker automatically adds a page daily at 12 midnight. If you want to change the time, just tap the card to edit and on the bottom part under the comments, you'll find a today page. If you hover your mouse, you can find this little icon on the rightmost part. Just click it and now you can change the time where the card automatically appears. You can also adjust the time zone right here. To change the habits on the list, just go to streak and click the one that you want to change. There are no emoji options here so I manually copy and pasted one. You can then type whatever habit you want to add. Make sure to change the one on the button as well since they're not synced. And here it is in action. If you click the button, it will also tick the habit for the day. As you can see, it also has a progress bar that changes as you mark your habits as done. Next is our fitness tracker. I really love this one. It's simple, but it does the job. This way you can keep track of your workouts. It's very easy to add a new workout. And if you want your workouts to show up on the calendar, make sure to add a date. And now for the grade tracker. In this tracker, you'll be able to log all the assignments that you have for each course. For the grade tracker to work, you must be aware of the grade distribution in each of your subjects. So here in the Philippines, it's usually written, performance, and major exams. I also suggest that you use a drop-down menu option for a less cluttered look. I'll be using the genetic subject as an example to show you how this works. So for the sake of this video, let's say that you have submitted this assignment. By the way, you can also categorize the process of each of your assignments as well as the level of priority. For the grade, just input the mark that you have received as well as the percentage rate of the task. So again, for the sake of this video, let us tag all of the assignments as submitted. So let us input the marks as well. And the calculations will be consolidated right here. So next is the course schedule. This is a simple way to have an overview of your weekly topics, readings, assignments, and exams. This way, prioritizing will be a whole lot easier and helps us avoid missing important deadlines. So you can view them per category like lessons, exams, and assignments. You will also have a calendar view right here. For lessons, you can also add a start and end date. It's also very easy to add new topics and you can also add your quizzes under the exam page. So now I'm going to share some tips on how you can maintain this life plan that you have started. Make it a point to review your life calendar every Sunday, use the brain dump feature regularly, and check your grade tracker weekly. So what are the effects of the life first approach? First, your study time becomes non-negotiable because everything else is already organized. Second, you're more focused because you're not worried about missing out. And third, you actually stick to your schedule because it's realistic. And that concludes our study planning slash notion tour. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you find the planner useful. You can find the free download link on the description box.